Through the years, I've always felt that giving back was writing a check. I have been in financial services the last 40 years. My first career was with Merrill Lynch, and I ended up as chairman of Merrill Lynch. Uh, I subsequently uh, worked with Ameriprise to set up a Columbia Threadneedle Investment, an asset management firm that covers Asia Pacific. I'm now their chairman, and I also am chairman for Julius Baer, a Swiss-based bank that is just focused on the high net worth individuals. In my earlier career, right, you, you always think that, okay, be a good boss means, uh, you know, look after your people, you make sure that you encourage them, uh, you guide them, you, you counsel them, uh, you journey with them so that they're successful. And you feel, hey, look, I've done my job, right? But uh, you go back and say, hey, you know, there's one component that actually you miss, which is their spiritual well-being. And I thought that my, my time was when I retired from Merrill and somebody from Caritas approached me and basically asked me if, uh, if I want to, to help out in setting up a charitable organization under the Caritas umbrella. And that's how it started. I mean, without knowing anything about the physically challenged. When we first started ABLE, we were trying to find how do we best serve this community? And so we basically identified it down to, we will deal with people who have acquired physical challenges that basically are from 16 to 60, so that they can still come back to society and can be integrated in society. I started by being generous on money and not being generous on time. And I find that, well, it works, but it's not as effective as if you have a combination of generosity of time plus money. ABLE allowed me to do that, right? ABLE allowed me to dream and say, hey, how do we widen the network? How do we get more people involved? How do we get this more known in the community? How do we get the rights of the physically challenged recognized, right? Uh, so for me, the generosity is, hey, uh, it's God's plan to help others that we look at all the people that they're the face of Christ to alleviate situations of your fellow men, to help people get out from a space that they are suffering to a much better place. It's a lot more rewarding than in my days in Mera when I give somebody a million dollar bonus, right? I mean, because you can really see that you have touched somebody and you have uh, made a change in their life for them to be able to work gives them a sense of self-dignity. It gives them a purpose in life, that feeling of responsibility that now I can provide for the family or I can contribute to the family. And by doing so, we have impacted people's lives.